Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to, I think, the final video of 2020. Wow. <laughs> this year, this year, <laughs> this year has been, yeah, it's been a whirlwind. I think it's a year that a lot of us will be very happy to see the back of and to wave goodbye to what has been probably the most difficult year for a lot of us. I know there's been a lot of people who've just kind of plodded on through 2020, a lot of people who have had a really, really hard year for whatever reason, financial reasons, family loss. I think this year has been, for me personally, the most testing year I've ever experienced in my life to date. And I really hope and pray for a much happier, more positive, more healthy 2021. I think the whole world is really, really just hoping and praying that we do have a much brighter and more happier 2021 and I hope you are all okay at home as well and um, yeah this is going to be the last video I do excuse the seagulls the last video of 2020 and I thought we'd go out with a bang with a bit of food and a couple of cocktails just to see you all into the new year so if you are a bit like us we're spending New Year's Eve indoors as I'm sure a lot of people are in the country it's just going to be me and Zara and we thought you know what we're not really like, we, we don't really know what to do. So we thought let's just get dressed up and really make a big old deal of it. We're still gonna have our slippers on and let's be honest, we're gonna be in bed by five past midnight. <laughs> we'll say happy new year and then we'll be off to have a bit of sleep. But we thought why not just really make the most of the last day of the year and just to see 2020 out with a bang. So we're gonna be doing some cocktails, we're gonna be doing some canapes and just really have a nice, evening and I thought I'd share these recipes with you guys this is going to go live on the 30th I'm filming this right now so it's literally live as I'm filming this so you can head out if you haven't already done your grocery shop for the next couple of days or if you've got some of the ingredients in you can make yourself a cheeky cocktail have some canapes and just have a jolly good old time um so yeah without further ado let's get into the video if you haven't already if you could give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if you haven't clicked subscribe please do let me know in the comments what your plans are for new year and i know i know a lot of people really don't like new year and they just just want to get it over and done with that's fine if you're just here for a bit of food content then that's also good too so um, yeah let's get into it so we're going to be doing three canapes and three cocktails. One of them is going to be a mocktail, so like a non-alcoholic cocktail for anyone out there who doesn't really drink. And the canapes are obviously going to be vegetarian. So we're going to be doing some balsamic red onion sausage rolls. We're going to be doing a spicy kind of like taco bean with avocado on a salsa. And we're also going to be making some watermelon and feta balsamic bites. So that's kind of going to be like the three super easy canapes. And then for cocktails, we're going to be doing an Aperol and spiced gin spritz, a ginger beer, grapefruit and rosemary fizz, and to finalise the cocktails, a spiced rum festive mojito. So we've got a lot going on, really simple, really easy, so let's get into it. Okay, so you're first going to want to grab your sausage of choice. I'm using these Richmond meat-free sausages. They're so delicious. Probably one of my favourite sausages. I'm also going to use some Dijon mustard, some balsamic onion chutney, one egg, and some puff pastry. And that is it. So first start by unrolling the puff pastry sheet, and then I just flipped it over so it's a nice soft edge. And then I cut the sausages in half. Again, if you're using regular like pork sausages, then you can just do the same. Then I used a really sharp pizza cutter, or if you've got a sharp knife, you can use that as well. So just cutting these into essentially a piece of pastry per half a sausage, if that makes sense. And then just using one teaspoon of the onion like relish and just popping that on top of the sausage. And then into a ramekin, I just broke the egg. And then I also added around half a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard. And then I just beat that together with a pastry brush and just brushed the puff pastry on either side. So when it rolls it up, it kind of just seals the sausage and onion relish inside like this. So it's absolutely perfect. And then you just want to pop those onto a lined bacon tray and then just do the same with all of the other ones. Just roll those up. As you can see, this made quite a lot of mini sausage rolls. You can do bigger ones if you'd prefer. And then you just want to use the remaining egg wash just to brush the tops of the sausage rolls, pop them into an oven at around 190 degrees for 20 minutes until they're nice and golden brown like this. And then you can ready to enjoy them. They are so delicious and so, so easy to make. The second is my crispy taco, just delicious bites. They're so good. So you're going to need some of these spicy taco beans. Of course, you can make your own. You're going to need some cherry tomatoes, an avocado, some limes, coriander or cilantro, depending on what you call it, some sweet smoked paprika, 
good quality extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna need some salt and pepper and also some soft tortilla wraps like these. So start off by separating your tortilla wraps and just using a cookie cutter or if you haven't got a cookie cutter, you can use a glass and a sharp knife. Just cut out some discs. So these are gonna be the bases to your crispy taco shells. So just cut out as many as you'd like. I think I made 12 in total. Yeah, this is 12. So just pop them on a baking sheet lined with greasy paper, drizzle over the olive oil and the sweet smoked paprika and just make sure each of the discs is coated on both sides and then pop them into your 190 degree oven for around 10 minutes and then rotate them halfway through, like flip them over. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab your cherry tomatoes, just pop those on a chopping board and just roughly chop them up and then add them into a mixing bowl. So once you've done that, you can also then do your coriander. So I'm using a really nice fresh bunch of coriander here, which is just very, very delicious. Really nice fresh herbs. So just chop that up and pop that straight in. Add a good grind of black pepper and salt Then roll your lime, cut that in half and add around half a squeeze of lime in there and just stir all that together. Then also grab your avocado, slice that in half and just take it apart like this. And then just scoop out the middle part of the avocado, pop that on your chopping board and put that into really small thin slices. And then just grab your mixed beans in the spicy tomato sauce and you can just heat that up in the microwave or on a hob. By that time your nice crispy taco discs will be done. These are delicious on their own to be fair, but we're gonna amplify it by adding in the hot taco bean mix. I just drained up some of the tomato sauce to the, so the crackers didn't go like too, I guess too soggy. I added a slice of avocado to each of the discs. Again, you just wanna make these nice and small, so nice and bite-sized. And then I just topped it off with the chunky tomato and coriander salsa, and then just serve these with a lime wedge on the side. Really easy and so delicious. And then the final kind of paper we're gonna be doing is watermelon feta and balsamic bites. These are so easy, like the, honestly the easiest kind of paper you will ever make. You just need some watermelon, good quality feta, balsamic glaze, and some mint. So I sliced up a good chunk of watermelon. One disc does around six pieces in total, and I just made some identical cubes. I think it's made eight cubes in total. Yeah, it did, and you can eat the rest. So these are nice and square, and then you just wanna pop those directly onto a serving board and then cut some feta into thin slices and then into cubes as well, same size as your watermelon. Pop the feta on top of the watermelon like so. And then to finish this off, you just wanna pop one mint leaf per watermelon bite. You can do this as big or small as you'd like. And then I use some of this Madeira awesome balsamic glaze. It's so sweet, but it also has a lovely tang to it. So just drizzle that on top and that is that kind of here done. So easy. Right, now it's time for some delicious cocktails. So we've got three cocktails going on here. Again, really, really good. We're first gonna start off with this gorgeous ginger beer fizz. So we added in 50 ml of some grapefruit juice, 50 ml of ginger beer, and topped that up with Prosecco. And then I just added in a rosemary sprig, and that's the cocktail done. So easy. And I mean, those were delicious. They were like almost like lovely mimosa bellinis, but just really, really good. So the next cocktail we're gonna do is a slow gin Aperol spritz. So in a wine glass that I've just chilled, added in some ice cubes into the glass directly. And then I added in 50 ml of slow spice gin, 50 ml of Prosecco, 50 ml of Aperol, and just stirred all that together. Just chilled that down, topped up with some soda water, as much as little as you'd like, a good wedge of fresh grapefruit, two blackberries, and a rosemary sprig as well. And it's that's it, dead easy and so delicious. And then the final cocktail we're gonna do is a virgin, kind of like grapefruit mojito. So in a tall glass, I added in some lime wedges, three bar spoons of brown sugar, and a good handful of blackberries, and just muddled that together with the end of the bar spoon just to release the juices in the lime and also muddle up the blackberries. Then I added in around 10 mint leaves in total and just muddled those together as well. Then I popped in the ice cubes and just stirred all that through. So this kind of makes like the base of your berry mix. Top that up with soda and stirred all that through. And then I just finished it off with some extra mint garnish, some blackberries and a wedge of grapefruit. And that is it. So easy and so, so delicious and really good for the festive season if you're not in the mood for anything alcoholic. And that is it. Three easy cocktails and three easy canapes to enjoy this New Year's Eve. Okay, that is everything. That's all of the food and all of the cocktails myself and Zara are gonna be enjoying this New Year's Eve. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, it's a bit of a last minute one, so maybe you can do a little quick dash to get some ingredients if you're missing a few things, but I really hope 
you have a lovely New Year's Eve, however you do spend it. When this video goes live, it might even be the 31st in some countries. I'm not quite sure how the times work, but um, yeah, thank you so much, as always, for all of your love and support throughout this whole year, throughout every year, because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, and it means the absolute world to have you here. So I'm raising a glass to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this crazy old journey, this mad year, and I will catch you all in 2021. Happy New Year, and I'll see you all very soon.